Hi everyone, my name is Didi. Welcome to this Fallout 4 tips video. Today I'm going to talk about weapon crafting and a technique that I use to ensure that all my weapons are the best they possibly can be without draining all of my resources making them that way. Now what I mean by that is this. As you can see, I've got here a plasma infused 10mm pistol. It is a standard 10mm pistol, however, it has this add 10 points of energy damage and turns enemy into goo. It's up, so got some plasma thing added to it. It's a special weapon that I picked off a legendary monster. Absolutely brilliant. The problem is, as you can see there, it's got a standard receiver, short barrel, standard grip, standard magazine. That means I need to spec it out completely to get it up to the same level as my current weapon, which is this. A suppressed advanced 10 mm pistol. So it's got loads of customizations on it. It's got a large magazine, a better grip, a better barrel, an advanced receiver, and therefore its damage is up to 43. The range is 112, the fire rate is 69. As you can see, it's a much, much better weapon. Now, I could scrap it because I got the scrapper perk, but all that's going to give me back is the base materials, and that's rubbish. So, what you should be doing is going to modify. And actually what you can do is you can take off the receiver away from what it is. So at the moment I've got one of the best advanced receivers on there. And all I need to do now is take it back to the standard receiver. You'll find that if you already had one of these or you built it from a standard receiver, you would actually have one of these already. But this way I'm using the least amount of components there. So I build my standard receiver. Fine. And I'm going to go through and do that all exactly the same on all of the options. Taking this pistol back to the core basic 10mm that it possibly can be. You'll see on that, when I went to the site, so you see at the bottom it says attach mod. That's because actually I've already got one standard sight available in my, uh, in my weapon store. Equally, the muzzle, when you take the suppressor off, you don't have to do anything because there's no requirements to do that. So make no muzzle, there's no build, there's nothing there, fantastic. So I've stripped down my 10mm pistol back to its core basics and now what I can do is go to my plasma infused and you know what? The best receiver, all I need to do now is attach the mod. I'm not building anything, I'm not losing any adhesive aluminium gear, oil or screws because I've taken it off my other gun and put it on that one. And now, all I need to do is completely update this pistol, and now I have the same pistol, but it's got an additional 10 points of energy damage and turns enemies into goo. Amazing. In the same way, I've got this example. This is my current combat, glow-sighted, powerful combat shotgun. It's an amazing thing, but I've just picked up this, a two-shot combat shotgun, shoots an additional projectile. So it's so much better than my current one, but it's not better because it hasn't got all of the attributes. It hasn't got the bayonet and the drum magazine and the shoulder stock and all that sort of good stuff. It's got some, but not all. So what do I need to do? I just need to take off the receiver, put it back to normal, I can take the long barrel off and put it back to short, full stock, short stock. And what you end up doing is building out a, a bit of a uh, standard kind of a mod. So you build out all the mods and I'll show you those in a minute. So you can build out everything that you need. Ooh, that's looking quite exciting. Um, you don't need that though because I've already got the full stocks already there. The marksman stock you don't actually need. The drum magazine, I can attach that one. Standard sights, I like the glow sights, so that's what I've done. And the muzzle, I can put the large bayonet on it because I've just taken it off my other weapon. And now I've got exactly the same weapon as I had before. I've taken all the mods off that short combat shotgun and added them all onto this one. Perfect. So what I suggest is when you find weapons out there in Commonwealth, Take them back to your crafting station. And now if I look in my weapon shop here and say, right, let's have a look at something quite basic, like this powerful compensated 10 millimeter pistol. I'll take that, I craft it. Rather than just go and sell it, what you can do 
is take bits off it and then just take it back to normal. So when you need to improve your weapon in the future, you end up with a lot better kind of um, requirements or you've got, the, you've got much more ability to build much better weapons without spending loads of resource. Now, if you look in your inventory under mods, you'll see now that I've got all of these mods that I've built out just from stripping down those weapons down to their core components but I still keep the powerful receiver, the standard receiver, all those sort of things. So when it comes to doing this in future, if you transfer all of that sort of stuff into your workshop, in it goes, if you come back to the same weapons bench, then you'll be able to do this all the time, saving yourself all of that hassle of wasting all of your resources, continually improving the same pistol for things that you've already got, it's just on different weapons. So I hope that makes sense guys, keep stripping the mods off your weapons, adding them onto the weapons that you actually want to use them on, that way you save yourself the materials, that way you can build up what you need for the weapons that you actually want to change them on, and if you haven't got that mod for a weapon, at least this time you'll have the actual materials to create it. So if you found that useful, please hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. There's loads more Fallout tips videos on my channel, so please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Take care now.